Hey guys, so welcome to another Gotham Knights video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about settings you should change in the game to make it feel a lot better. So if we go to the menu and we go to options, you can see here, we'll start right with accessibility, the final one here. The first thing I recommend changing is the HUD scale. Uh, by default, this is like incredibly high, like at 50. And I, I, I don't know, for me, the buttons are way too big and bulky. So I like them a bit smaller. I go down to 20, but you can go between like, you know, 20 and 50 as much as you like. I also turn the subtitles to be a smaller size instead of the medium, which is like really big and bulky as well. I just like it to be less intrusive and less in my face. One of the most major changes you can do here is for when you're frozen. When you're frozen, especially if you're playing on keyboard, it's really irritating to have to spam the E key as many times because it doesn't feel as comfortable as it does when you're on a controller. So here, instead of tapping like repeatedly, you can just tap it once, right? So by default, it's on tap repeatedly, but if you change it to tap once, you just have to hit the button once and you'll escape the frozen status effect. I, I, I don't know, this just seems like a no-brainer choice to pick. If you want, you also have the option of changing like your heroic travel, your AR scan abilities to whether you must hold the button in or whether you just have to tap it once to activate it and then tap it again to deactivate it. So that's that's up to you. I, I prefer just holding it for now because that's how I've been like trained to using it. So if we go into the UI area, the first thing I wanna look at here is the use CSI assist. This is when you're doing the investigation and maybe you're struggling or getting a little bit confused, but this will actually allow you to have some support. I like how it says enable to like support for solving crimes, more, I like the puzzles more easily. In actuality, what this does, it allows you to hold the R key to solve the crime or the investigation immediately without you having to do anything. Seems a bit crazy. This option over here, auto dismiss loading screens is something that you should have on as well. Unless you're trying to read all those tips, which you've probably done so a hundred times, but instead of saying like, okay, cool, continue every single time, I like the loading screen to load into the game instead of like being, okay, continue, like just load into the game. Like that's, that's what I want. So this is a cool setting to have on by default. The last things I want to talk about are in graphics. And if you go to graphics and you scroll down a bit here, you'll get to an area where it says advanced. And this is where I like to change the field of view. I generally play with a higher field of view because it just, it allows you to see more, but this obviously does depend on what you're playing on. And it does make it a bit more intense for your computer or your console or whatever to, to play with a higher field of view because it has to show more things on the screen. So if you have the capability of your machine to, to go to a higher field of view, I highly recommend it. It just gives gives you a, a much better visual awareness around you about what's happening in all the combat to like kind of track enemies that are on all sides of you. From here, you can also turn motion blur off or depth of field off if those are two things that bother you. I don't really mind, it seems fine for me. And those are the major settings that I would recommend changing in Gotham Knights. If you have any settings of your own that you'd recommend people change, let us know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.